Hey YouTube, it's Ashley3G here with a review. This time I have a product that Griffin sent me and it is the Griffin Outfit Shade. It's a newer case from Griffin and I'm really excited to review it for you guys. But first, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Griffin for sending this out to me. They're a really good advocate for us reviewers and they've pretty much stood by me since uh, Griffin product review day one. So just thank you guys so much um, over at Griffin. Um, and if you're not following Griffin, on Twitter you need to do that also read their blog they have some pretty interesting stuff that they post there just a really cool company that not only has great products but they're actually pretty social too so um, let's just get started I'm gonna go ahead and open this for you guys now I have already used it so this is gonna be an unboxing and a review in one and I got the pink outfit shade they come in several different colors this is the pink one it sort of fades to black and then you have the Griffin logo embossed down here, which, as always, I really like that because I don't like to advertise, you know, case companies. I just like to rock my case, as I've said before. So that's a really cool feature. However, the first thing I noticed was the inside of the slider style case. It is a slider style case. Um, what I noticed is that it's like a rubberized matte finish. And I have to say, although I love my NK slider, this definitely is less scary to put your phone into because it's so soft and as long as you know it's clean you're really not going to run into any problems or at least I haven't. So you know of course you just slide your iPhone in like this and then you'll slide the bottom on here and it offers a really snug and nice fit. Now aside from the fact that the back is really glossy and pretty and just great and besides the uh, matte finish on the inside, what I noticed about the camera hole was that it's sort of like that new form camera hole. Uh, if you watch my new form video, you know what I'm talking about. The cutout is just kind of small right there. And this time, not only is it small, but it's not really spot on, you know, like I'd like it to be. You can see some of that chrome around the top, but then it's kind of cut off by this hole here. So the only recommendation I would make there is maybe make your camera holes a little bit bigger and that way if they're not spot on at least all the chrome around the lens is still showing and it doesn't look quite as cut off and kind of wonky right there. You know that's my only complaint and to add to that it does not this hole being off you know the lens is still uncovered so it doesn't really affect your picture taking abilities. I did try it and it's fine. It's just that aesthetically it's not as pleasing as it could be. Moving along to the top here, you, you have the whole top cut out here, which is not a problem for me. You know, it leaves your SIM tray open if you wanted to mess with your SIM there. And then your, um, this is the part I really like. The headphone jack, you can fit an array of different headphones in there because the cutout for that is pretty large. I mean, you have forever this way with it, so it's pretty nice. Um, speaking of headphones... I did find if I'm not holding the bottom, and this isn't a big deal, but if you put your, your headphones in and you push down, you're going to get a kind of slip. You see right here? Your phone's going to kind of push the bottom of the case down. And so you'll just want to hold the bottom of the case. And that's not to say that this case comes off easily. I mean, you can moderately pull at it and it's not coming off. So it doesn't fall off like some of the Rebel Scholars you've seen or maybe even some of the NK sliders. So that's a good plus. The lip of the uh, case on the phone is just about perfect. You know, it's not too big and it's not too small. It's just enough so that if you were to lay your phone on the table, you have something to protect your screen and you don't have to worry about it, you know, being directly on the table. And you have your bottom here. It's, you know, pretty much all exposed down here, which is not a problem. You know, for your docking port right here and your microphone and your uh, speaker down there. So no problems down there really great fit. I did lay the phone like this on all kinds of hard surfaces and tables as I would normally lay it, you know, nothing excessive, but I wasn't, you know, wimpy with it. I really did test it out. And as far as I can tell and see, there are no scratches on the back. And I can tell from the camera that, you know, it's really not doing the beauty of this case justice. Maybe your thing isn't pink, which is the color of this case, but like I said, they have other colors. Um, but it really is just a beautiful case, very shiny. You know, I would probably compare it to an NK slider. I love my NK slider, so that is a huge compliment. You know, there's there's nothing wrong with it. Um, on the top here, when you're pushing the sleep wake button, the corners, the edges of this here are not sharp, so you're not hurting your finger when you push it, and it's very easy to access. And the same goes for your um, vibrate switch here. Very easy to just push that with one finger and then push again. And then your volume rocker here, great cutout for that as well. 
So thank you again, Griffin. I'm going to put a link in the sidebar to this product, as well as to Griffin's Twitter and just their general Griffin Technology website. Hope you guys check some of their products out. You know, I think that this is a great improvement over the last case that I reviewed, which was that new form. You know, the new form didn't have the same interior as this one has, and I think that that's what really makes this one stand out. It's an excellent case. It's probably going to be one of my favorites, so you guys make sure to check out this case. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you, Griffin, for sending this out to me, and thank you guys for watching. Keep watching.